Hi, it's Maria here from Sweden, aka Plan Your Mother of Three. Welcome to my plan with me. This is my everyday carry planner uh, that I found not attractive at all this week that is coming up. Uh, I really failed. So I decided to whiten it all out and to restart and do a new uh, spread. And what I did was that I took some old paper from an old Hobodichi and I glued it in, as you can see. And then I let the creativity uh, go all in. I'll have to say sorry for the light or the lack of light. I don't know what happened in the first part of this video, but it will get better um, when we continue forward. Here is a beautiful washi with small dark blue or even maybe black dots. And now I am thinking that I will put this washi in the vertical line where the date and the days normally are. And then I want to put the date um, where so I have you know seven days on the left hand uh, side what I do is that I use the left left side of okay here is the washi was a little bit it wasn't that easy to cut as you can see so I have hard time but here we go and on the other side it was even worse but anyway um, on the left hand side I split the page in two where I have a small part for my working planning or just logging actually because the planning uh, I'm doing that in my business planner and in my uh, on my iPhone. Here I got the phone call that uh, broke the uh, recording of this video so here we are on the part two where I decided to Put the days on the line uh, as you can see I also made lines so I'll have seven days um, on the left page and then I took some stickers from a happy planner that was in a collaboration with Doho Berry and these are in you know ordinary paper white uh, quality so that you can easily color them I think it, it's called the doodle or something uh, the um, the sticker collection. I had two different ones and they were seven uh, in the amount so it's uh, perfect for this week. As I was going along I decided that I wanted to color uh, the circle because I wanted to put some transparent um, dates on the circle uh, afterwards so now I think I'm heading for a Tombow light grey. Yeah I did. Uh, I thought it would look nice with the grey because I've already started with that on the to-do list on the right hand side. On that page, on the other, you know, the right page, the right hand side page, I put my to-do lists, maybe a tracker, something else that I want to remember or to remind myself of. Uh, bills to pay, things to do and whatever. And whenever or when I get, you know, a certain date when I'm going to do something, um, I'll put that on the left side. So sometimes I transfer uh, like the to do to the dailies if I want to remind myself. I will do that uh, shortly. But right now I'm cutting the stickers that are a little bit out of the range. I'm sorry that my my planner is sometimes, as you see now, uh, out of the picture, but you know, I have a hard time doing my things anyway. Now you can see I put the line to make a very clear dividing uh, where my business is on the left hand side and the personal planning is on the right hand side. And I don't want to be too specified in this one regarding my work because I already have that. Um, in my business planner so I decided to just mark with the gray pen the days when I am occupied I am right now figuring out how I'm gonna do that uh, so but I will now yeah now I mark when I have my custom activities with the customer custom customer activities 
the days when I am off uh, with customers uh, still here at home, but you know, I don't have time for anything else but take care of them. Uh, so you can see I am quite busy this week and I know that I will for sure um, have to, that I have to um, work this weekend. So I uh, even, I decided that I would do a line from Monday till Sunday because I will do have to plan for some weekend work this week. So here I go on with some, you know, to do's um, and um, yeah, I have, as you know, um, started my really healthy year and I am I want to remind myself of doing the power walks every day so I decided to put them uh, on each day here um, yeah so and then I decided that I'll put that for every every day here so that's what I do here yeah um, I have had some weeks where I haven't really taken care of the spreads. I just thought that I, I'll write and I took put some stickers and it can be very messy. I, I don't care. But now I really felt that I wanted to have it in a balance where the um, colors are, you know, matching and the pattern is in harmony. So here I am, you know, looking into my different planners and just to check out how many, how much time do I have with my customers and how much time do I have for planning and administration and so forth. Yeah, so now I, I was checking my checklist if there is anything else I have to do on this spread. Uh, I have this checklist where I have divided all the, the to-dos in different parts like uh, every day things to do, every weekend things to do and in the end of the month um, and so forth. You can see that in another video that I have here in my list. Yeah, um, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do here. Um, I am writing something here that is important for me to remember. So I took that from the to-do list, crossed it off, and I put it on the specific day where I'm supposed to do the thing. I think it was a bill that I have to pay. Yeah, and now I got really, you know, um, into, I wanted to use my print-on stickers to get some nice arty um, effect of the side and uh, these are stickers that are like like painting um, and they are in these really beautiful uh, colors very much um, I'm thinking of thunderstorm when I see them but I thought it would look nice um, if I you know put put it there so I go for the large one and then I'll find some other ones that I will also put there to get a balance in color and in shape and form. Um, it's the first time I use these. Uh, I've done I've used these before and but it's the first time I use them in my planner and I think it looks really nice. I can still see the, the calendar in the in the corner if I would like to. Um, but it will, it has a nice, uh, you know, color effect there. Now I'm trying to rub on uh, without taking off the paper underneath. Uh, so I'll have to redo the thing again. In here I decided to have a green, um, I don't know what you call these, green pattern, green, yeah, I think so. So you cut out the desired pattern and then you separate the back paper and then you paste it by, you know, scrubbing or whatever you say. Um, I really like them. Um, yeah, I will for sure buy some others because I think I'll, these are a little bit uh, a favorite one. Looks beautiful on the paper. What pens have I used? I have used the uh, platinum. Uh, fountain pen um, and a tumble grayish pen yeah so now I am 
close to be finished, uh, but I realized that I, what, what did I realize? Oh, I think I'm happy. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I look happy. So, um, thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.